Hi there, this is uh, Joseph with another uh, QML uh, tutorial here. In our last tutorial, we learned how to uh, expose something to the uh, engine, uh, the QML engine, and we're going to continue on this um, path here really quick. So let's say that we have a uh, application that uses, uh, I don't know, like the QML uh, file system manager uh, plugin, and it uh, it wants to, you know, uh, let's say it's a, a movie player or something like that, and it wants to play. Uh, movies, but you got to let the user pick out the movie before it plays. Um, and we want it to, we want, so when the file manager opens up, we want it to go straight to the user's, uh, straight to the user's uh, video folder, uh, whatever that may be on the operating system. So for that, there's, we're lucky there is a class that we can use uh, called uh, QStandardPaths. There we go, and let's include Q string list just in case. Uh, probably not needed, but we could always look and see if it was needed. But for right now, whatever. Okay, so let's uh, let's do this. Let's say Q URL. We'll say movies uh, path. All right now, let's say constant Q string list. And we will say movies location. Okay, and let's set that equal to our Q standard paths standard location and Q standard paths movies location. Okay. So now we have two variables here. We have one URL uh, that is movies path, and then we have one that's called location, uh, which is spelled correctly, by the way. Um, okay, so if we let's let's do a couple checks here. Let's say let's first say if uh, let's see here movies location um, is empty, then let's just say uh, movies path. Uh, if equals app path, well now equals I don't know uh, home uh, videos, which is going to be wrong because we don't have the user's name. But we could always uh, you know tie something in for that too. But this is just in case if it's empty, uh, it'll always just go to let's just set it to to be the root path. So if it if it's if it's completely empty, uh, then let let's let's just set it to that. So but what we can do is we could also say app path, and then we could resolve it, um, and we could set it as a Q URL, and we could say there we go, and so it resolves it and puts it at its root path there, um, and that's that. So, but if it does find something and it's not empty, then we can say uh, movies path. And we can say is uh, basically equal, and we'll say Q string. We've done this before, and we'll set an argument. Why not? And we will say uh, we will say movies location dot first. So if there's like five different locations, we're just going to grab the first one out of the list and we're just going to set it to there. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is expose it to the engine. So what we can say is uh, engine uh, root context, and we can then point it to set a contextual property. And we are going to call this, um, well, let's set the variable first, uh, movies uh, path right there. And we will set this equal to actually movies path also too. So um, when looking at the setting of the contextual property, this string right here, okay, is the actual name. I, I mean, I could have called this like, I don't know, like my movies path or something like that. Um, but, you know, just to do it, I'm just going to put movies path right here. Uh, and everything, as long as I typed everything, okay. Uh, let's put a comment here. Uh, wow, I'm having a good one today. And we'll we'll be talking more about comments and actually doing some inline uh, inline code documentation here in a little bit. Um, anyways, so we got this uh, new contextual property called movies path. Uh, 
if we go back over to our main.qml over here and uh, you can see that I've already changed it. Movies belong here and then I have the movies path. So if we actually save and run this right here and drag this over into our camera view over here, you can see that the uh, movies belong here in Home Joseph videos. So we could have that open up now in, in that place and that's exactly what we wanted to do at the start of this video. Well, I am Joseph. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, there are other standard paths, of course, also too. Uh, we could take a look at each one of them uh, simply just by uh, go selecting it, pressing the F1 button, waiting for the help to show up, and go down and see each one of these standard locations. We got desktop, documents, fonts, application, music, movies, pictures, temp, home, uh, data, cache location, and we could set all of these up so that our QML application could be able to use these uh, in, a, in a simple manner. Anyways, um, this is uh, Joseph. I hope you found this uh, tutorial uh, fun, um, and uh, in the next one we'll actually, uh, you know, be moving right along in our little uh, in our little thing we're doing here. Anyways, uh, I'm Joseph. Be nice to everybody out there, and uh, have a good day.